Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone over here at Creative Kitchen and Bath. For all your bathroom and kitchen renovations, of course, with the one and only, the resident chef, Miss Shella Fadlison Davis. How are you? Hello, I'm wonderful. Oh, that sounded very... I you love know, Julia Childs of you. I know. Hello. I just get very happy when I have fresh herbs in front of me. Yeah, it makes such a difference in your food and in your cooking when yeah. you work with fresh ingredients. The smell of vision yes. is divine. Yes. So I'm cutting up right now a little bit of mint and dill. Yep. Um, and if that um, should already give you a little indication of what region Greek. we're going. Yeah. So we're doing a little Mediterranean meatball. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I've been talking recently just about healthy snacks yep. and ways that you can have really good appetizers for a party without sacrificing those carbs, without having to really sacrifice your goals as far mm. as your diet goals. Just clean and eating. Your, clean eating, exactly. So we're doing a beef kofta meatball nice. with a oh, you are. tzatziki sauce. Which is that Greek yogurt what sauce. What did you call it? Tzatziki. Tzatziki. No, no. What do you call it? That, I don't know. We need a Greek and one of our yeah, audience to some, come and tell we us. We do. We need to be Tzatziki. It's Tzatziki. Okay. There you go. Like the restaurant. Tzatziki. Okay. Yeah. I think. All right. <laughs> tzatziki sauce. It's tzatziki right. yogurt. Yeah. All right. So the kofta is uh, ground beef. I picked up some local Kentucky raised uh, yep. ground beef. Oh, we like and that. And we're going to season it. Of Let course. me do all that. All right. So don't. Um, it's you're going about a tablespoon of ground cumin. Yeah. A little bit of cinnamon. Trust tablespoon me. Tablespoon or teaspoon. Te tablespoon. Yeah. The cumin. A little bit of the cinnamon makes all the difference Does in it? your meatball for sure. Um, turmeric and curry. All right. Anytime you oh, can I incorporate. Anytime you can get turmeric into your recipe it's going to benefit you because turmeric has such What's this? garlic powder. And then we always like to bring a little kick and a little heat, so a little red pepper flake in there. Yeah. And then we're also going to add some of the fresh herbs into our meatballs, so a little bit of that mint. I want to get some gloves and get in yeah, there. Yeah, right there. And then, of course, we're going to go with a little salt and pepper, okay? You can't, can't have a meatball without it being really well seasoned. All right, so that's just spiced. Salt, pepper. I'm not adding any breadcrumbs, any egg, anything. Well, I was going to say itself, it and we're just going to work that in, and then we're going to roll that out just as is. It seems like a dry mix. It is. It's not a dry rub. yeah. Mm -hmm. Not like you don't have tomatoes in here no. or anything like you that. You could chop a little onion in there if you wanted, a few little like bell peppers if you wanted to add like a little bit more um, like veg in with your meatball. But in this case, we're just seasoning it. And we're so we want everyone to know the consistency is not like a Italian meatball. Correct, because we're not adding a lot the, more wet. Yeah, we're not adding the buttermilk. We're not adding the breadcrumbs. Yeah. We're not adding egg. We're really just going. Well, with I the think meat. that's not an Italian meatball. Huh? <laughs> that's an American version of oh. an Italian meatball. Well, or the breadcrumbs is not. I've never seen that. You, you put breadcrumbs in. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of times in the recipes I've seen, and so that would be mm. that would add those carbs that we want to avoid. No. Okay. So that's why we're just going with the meat. So what do I do now? All right, Are we now making you can one? Just take it mm -hmm, and just roll it into some meatballs, and then we're going to get. Oh, hold on. One or small ones. Oh. Yeah. So this is going to be a snack. <laughs> Leave it to Troy. So no, this is going to be a snack. So we're just going to kind of. Tighten it like that, kind yeah. of squish, and then roll just so we I have gotcha. these meatballs. And these are going to go in the oven, so we'll put those on a tray. What I'm going to do is uh, put the uh, make the Greek yogurt sauce, right? Ooh. So I wanted to highlight the yogurt that I'm using in particular, which is a grass-fed, organic, good yogurt, right? So if we're going to get those fats into our body, we want to use the good fats, right? I had a bigger spoon than that. No, I'm just oh, I'm being delicate. It's a wonderful yogurt. But if you're going to get the good oh, fats, yum. you want the good fat. So go with, spend the money, you will benefit oh, from it. There goes the All spoon right, on so the we're floor. we're going with that good yogurt. Oh, that's nice. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we're going to add a little bit of garlic powder into our sauce. I'm going to go with the rest of those herbs, that dill and that mint in here. Oops, sorry, honey. That's all right. And then um, I understand bit, you want to injure me on TV. <laughs> a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh, salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And then the biggest thing is going to be that lemon, right? So we're going to add that fresh lemon in and mix this. And this is going to be just a lovely lemon Greek yogurt sauce that you can have with those meatballs. 
beautiful. All right, you finish, you finish talking? I am. Because it's a very good recipe. It is a good If you want to find out recipe. about this recipe and many more, head over to MiddayKentucky.com, everyone. Click on the recipe tab. It's all there for you. Miss Chef Alison Davis, where do they find you on Instagram? All right, you can find me at Chef Alison Davis or at Wild Time Cooking. That's it. Back after this short break, everyone.